It's one unique climb. Tall, old-growth cedars, masses of knotted, exposed roots, and rocks that come together to form Mother Nature's staircase. It's a hike that Andy Hughes can't get enough of. So I came up one day after work and it nearly killed me, went home, took a couple of days off, came back, did it again and did it 135 more times in 2010. Andy is mad for Mount Finlinson. His initial drive behind the daily climb was to get fit. Here's a snapshot from him on his first trek in 2004, about 60 pounds overweight. After conquering the trail nearly 150 times, he decided to carry on with his weight loss journey with an added goal, writing a book about his favorite mountain. The aim was I would try and hike every single day in 2011 um, and just write a little bit about who I met, what happened, how long it took. Um, and I've interviewed probably 12 to 14 other people that do it regularly just to find out why they do it, um, what their story is. I haven't seen you guys for ages. I know. And it seems everyone has a unique experience. This pair of hikers go up the mountain at least once a week and come down with ample stories to share. Juanita helped rescue a dog once oh, who yeah, was overheating. Right. It was really overheating. It was just beyond, it, it collapsed and they had to carry it down. Uh, so I gave it my water. Despite how demanding the mountain is with its steep inclines and rugged terrain, it attracts people of all ages. We're all seniors, most in our 70s, uh, and this is, the, this is the kind of thing that we can still do. And uh, it's just a wonderful way to, to stay young. In fact, just over there um, is where Dave and I saw the cougar um, just about two months ago. February 26th marked a milestone for Andy. He accomplished 365 consecutive hiking days, bringing his total over the years to more than 700 times. In all, he's lost 50 pounds and has never felt healthier. Now when I come up here, I'm actually wearing a weight vest and adding weight onto myself to make it more of a workout and finding I can do it quicker with that than I was last year without it. Next step for Andy is to finish compiling his journal entries and publish his book. But even after it goes to print, Andy says he will continue his personal journey. I just turned 40 last year. If I'm still doing this in 40 more years, I'll be happy. Hiking Mount Finlinson out in Goldstream Park, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.